Hi guys, welcome back. On today's video, we're gonna answer an important question. Where does the fiber go? <laughs> You'll find out next on the Ultimate Tech Hub. So guys, we've done a bunch of videos on fiber optics, like fiber installation, and comparing it to the speeds and costs of coax cable, how fiber works, and fiber versus copper. So once you've finished watching this video, make sure to check out those videos. So back to our original question, where does the fiber go? So guys, if you have fiber installed in your house, you'll most likely have a fiber line going to your network box. But if you don't have a network box in your house, then that fiber line will probably go into a bedroom. And this is where your modem and router will be located. So where does that fiber line go when it goes into the wall? Well, a typical home installation, the fiber cable will run inside the wall into the attic. From the attic, the fiber cable will run down a wall that goes to your junction box outside. This junction box will be labeled telecommunication. And inside this box will be coax cables, probably network cables, like Cat5e or Cat6, and maybe phone line cables, basically all telecommunication cables. So your fiber cable that's in the junction box, or telecommunication box, will now run underground in a tube that goes to the street. And this is where the fiber ends up, along with the coax cable. So once the fiber is in the street, where does it go? This fiber cable is buried under the street at a minimum depth of 30 inches. This is to prevent freezing. There's a couple ways you can bury fiber optic cables. There's a direct burial and underground duct. Underground ducts are preferred because these underground ducts allow for expansion. You can simply add more fiber lines when needed. Many companies use a technique called micro-trenching. This process involves installing small conduits within the edges of the sidewalk to house the fiber optic cabling. This technique is less evasive and causes less damage or disruption of existing infrastructure. And what's great about this technique is it can bring fiber optics to older areas, especially areas like crowded cities with heavy infrastructure. And what's great about fiber optics is you can run fiber and electrical cable in the same conduit, which makes adding fiber to crowded cities even easier. You simply add the fiber lines to the existing electrical cable lines through the conduit. So if your area does not have fiber, there's a great chance it'll be there soon because of these techniques. So now that we answered the question, <laughs> where does the fiber go? Make sure to watch our other videos on fiber optics. And guys, don't forget to visit my Patreon page where $2 a month helps keep this channel going. And for every new member, I do a personal shout out on the very next video. So guys, I want to thank you so much for watching. And remember, if you like these videos, give a thumbs up and share it. If you love it, hit subscribe to keep this channel alive. And thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it.